Sony, what the fuck are you doing? What the living law of fuck are you doing? Because you are right now, when it comes to comic book characters and studios handling their comic book properties, you're the one that I'm questioning the most. That is, when anytime you do your live action movies independently, where our, you know, which is not animation, so Spyverse, I'm not talking about the Spyverse stuff, and doesn't involve Daddy's help, aka Marvel, when you, your choices when you are doing everything solo is absolutely questionable right now. Like Venom, I get. I mean, Venom, I completely get because he looks cool. There's been uh, standalone comics in the past and all that type of stuff. And it's been successful for you. Morbius was always a movie that I was questioning over. And not just because of hindsight, but even when they announced Morbius, I was like, really? Morbius? Okay. I don't understand what you could do in a Morbius movie, and you know, exactly I was right. Same with Craven. Craven, I was like, okay. I mean, Craven Last Hunt is kind of like the Craven story, and I guess Spider Man's not going to be in that, so I don't know what you're going to do. And then we have Magna Web, which is like the biggest question mark of all. But then Sony was like, you, you want to have a bigger question mark over our heads? Here's one. A El Domito movie. Which is going to be slated for January 12th of 2024. With Bad Bunny to star who is a musician. No actor. And it's going to be the first comic book movie that's based on a Marvel character who is a Tino. Which is great, which is awesome. But in my head, I just, it's crazy to think about this. But would you like to, for this big milestone of a thing, you would get a actual actor. Can't be crazy. Would you want to get an actual actor? Because let's look at Daddy, aka Marvel Studios, right? They were going to do Black Panther, right? Guess what they got? They got Chadwick Boseman. Then, then, they thought, hey, we want to do Shang-Chi. A Asian character. Guess what? They got Sinu Liu, who is a actor. You got this guy, you got Bad Bunny, because, you know, you know what? You know, you, know what? You, you, you know what the kids like? This Bad Bunny. You know, this Bad Bunny guy. You know, the, he's he's very tough with the streamers. Why don't we make a movie about oh, starring this guy, huh? Why don't we do that? That's going to get the kids there. They're going to get the kids there. That's what it feels like. It feels like they're not really thinking of how to make the best product, but thinking about, ah, oh, this is what the kids like. That's what the nerds like. It feels so backwards of and so less of a aggression and that is actually hurting your future projects. Like if Craven comes out, which is say what, January of this next year I think? If that comes out, because Morbius, we just have Morbius. If that comes out and it's like a Morbius 2.0, that hurts, hurts your future movies. If Maga Web comes out, that hurts your future movies. And the only signs of hope, and the only thing that Aquaman is that towards the fans and towards your audience is the anime stuff with the with the Spider-Verse. Which of course is quite awesome to hear like and I'm a little bit jealous that people got to see fifteen minutes. They got to see 15 minutes of the of the movie, the first 15 minutes of Across the Spider-Verse, and they announced that the sequel will be called uh, Beyond the Spider-Verse. They're no longer calling it um, Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 and Part 2. Anyway, if you CinemaCon, if you don't know what CinemaCon is, CinemaCon is a event that happens every year around, around this time where studios go to theatre chains, and say, hey, this is what is coming out in X amount of months um, for the for the next 12, 15 months. Please, please, please 
we're you know we're going to convince you to put our movies in your theaters and they do a presentation they show like maybe the first 15 minutes or trailer or sometimes with last year they uh, showed the entirety of ghostbusters so you got stuff like that um and that's how they reveal this casting um i got yeah i was like hearing great things about spider i'm like yes and bullet train I'm totally saying i totally want to see bullet train Anyway, but when it comes to signing in the live action Spider, uh, you know, Marvel stuff that isn't around, you know, with, with not, you know, Kevin Feige with not Marvel holding their hands, it just comes across as backwards of quality. To the point, it's just I keep on questioning and now doubting that, like, I haven't seen Morbius, I haven't seen Venom 2 because I don't feel the trust of the brand i don't trust the quality of what i'm going to see and and also money wise but it just I, it i don't that's the thing it's just going to keep hurting and hurting and just you want to see good versions of these characters and it's probably like out of all the characters in the world like i don't think many people are, are asking for an el romeo movie a lot of people were, uh, you know, you got like soccer and Vulture and um, you got all this massive catalogue of, of, you know, Marvel villains of, of, of the Spider-Man side of things and you, you pick this guy who's just a wrestler, which I can conveniently, I don't know anything, anything about this character, but I, can, I thought it was like they're making a movie about the wrestler that Spider-Man fought when he was trying to make money uh, before Uncle Ben got shot. I literally thought of that. Um, it's just, I, I just, so it's just so questionable. You're questioning things. I'm just questioning your decision making. Um, oh, wait, I'm like, Marvel, please, please take your kid back. Take take the toys back. Be a hundred percent. Let's just make it Disney versus World but Let's just do it like it has always been in the comics, okay? Let's just do that. Because right now I'm like Sony, you just God damn it. Just pick up your game. Pick up your game. But it comes on January, so we always know the quality of, of uh, a film like that.